three matches before the interval. Are you ready for the second contest? Yeah. We're all warmed up. Let's get going then. Match number two. William Die Hard, Mickey Forrestal, coming Talk up next. Heavyweight collision, people. And this is the Heavyweight Championship Classic. Yeah, two hosses now. Everybody loves a hoss fight. If they tell you they don't, they're lying. Is hoss your word of the day or something? I love a hoss. Here Mickey he comes. Forrestal. Big, big boy. Jack to the gill, this guy. And I like, it. again, the, the little things matter. I like his wrestling attire. Yeah. Yeah, and the, what I like about his wrestling attire here, uh, Mickey Forrestal, is keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. Shades of Goldberg. Very, yeah, yeah, Gold very classic. Yeah. Here we are, first round of the Heavyweight Championship Classic. There you go, fun fact there. He has once beaten WWE UK's Dave Mastiff. Now that is a big chap. Yes. WWE has a UK? <laughs> I think I'd be uh, shaking in my boots after hearing that, to be honest. Chris Bronson. It is worth pointing that out, yeah. So uh, a bit of a name change for the former Mickey Forrestal here. Going now by the name of Chris Bronson. Don't know what the fans were chanting there. Big Jim! Woo! You're gonna hear that music in just a second. He's big, his name is Jim, he's die hard. You put them all together, what do you get? Big Jim Die Hard. Sorry, I didn't realise I was leading. <laughs> Accompanied to the ring by Nikapa Murphy. Yeah. And of course, Commissioner Bainbridge. Mr. Peter Bainbridge. Always looking, by the way, exquisite in his appearance. Uh, oh, someone's looking for a pay rise. Always got to eat. Great. What I would consider a late 90s shirt. A wonderfully ah. patterned beard and sunglasses straight out of an expensive foreign suit. Yeah. <laughs> These fans have got to be careful, by the way. Again, uh, this combination of, of wrestlers and authority figures, Pete Bainbridge, uh, again, Big Jim Die Hard, Kneecap and Mercy, a dangerous triple threat combination. Somewhat a house of torture, you may say. Mm. But uh, I believe Pete Bainbridge has said many a times the house always wins. Big Jim Diehard, certainly colossal figure. Casting uh, quite the silhouette. Yeah. I mean, if he designed this lighting setup himself, then fair play. This is great. These fans are going to watch out. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of big old Jim here. But always beware of kneecapper Murphy. The bat man, you may say. Oh, please. Please. I feel like we are going to feel the impact of this match all the way back from the commentary booth. Yeah, and you see what we're already were saying to Kneecapper there. He said he doesn't want any funny business. Yeah, and Kneecapper Murphy, obviously known for that very thing. When that thing comes swinging, you best believe it's old Kneecapper. His fans are a fan of old Big Jim here. Who can blame them? Definitely on the, on the side of uh, Chris Bronson instead.
catches that right hand by uh, by Big Jim. Head off the turn. Turnbuckle. Yeah. And again. And those turnbuckles may be padded, but they do not. This does not mean they do not hurt. Absolutely not. Just behind that thin piece of padding is a, is a pretty gnarly metal hook. You don't yeah. want that anywhere near your head. Big sit out there by Big Jim. I think it took referee Rory there a second to realise yeah. that cover was actually taking place. But of course it was, both but, shoulders on the ground. But a great call, yeah. When Rory sees those shoulders uh, go to the mat, again, he's straight on the action. Saw what was coming. Oof. Can you imagine the kind of pressure that's coming down on his chest right now? Yeah, Big Jim just standing on the chest. Big throw by Big Jim. Yeah, he's not in much condition to touch right now. No, no, no. Whip himself back into back into Nick. A few punches to the head, but Big Jim with that back elbow. And that's one back elbow I would not want to be caught by. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't want to be caught by one in general. No, indeed. But if I was going to get caught one by one... It would not want to be from, a, from an elephant trunk like that. No, God, no. Somewhat of a mastodon is uh, Big Jim. And you've oh, got the kneecapper Murphy there. Living up to his name. Definitely. Swiping the left... Or, sorry, the right kneecap there. A little jab with that baseball bat. He's feeling it. Yeah. Oh, a kick to the head by Big Jim. Just standing on the head, standing on the chest. Irish whip, reversed by Big Jim, and a big old clothesline. And you hear the fans booing here. Big Jim not loved by the SWW crowd. Kick out two. Yeah, strong kick out there. Kneecapper Murphy, again, you see him lurking around the outside. An ever looming threat. Right, well, to the already injured Duke kneecap. See the, the little tactician there, Big Jim, resting his, his feet, getting leverage from that bottom rope. Perhaps the least dangerous rope of them all. Sunset flip over. He's trying to go for that, but Big Jim misses that, uh, that sit out. Trading right hands now. Here we go. Big rights from both men. Colossal behavior from the two. Strong kick by Big Jim. Big 
drop kick from the big man. Again, we said it earlier, big guys that can move, athletic big guys, and a huge power slam. And a kick out of yeah. two. What is it going to take to put him away? Kick out by Big Jim. Again, you have to imagine a, a lighter athlete would have been knocked for six by that big power slam. Absolutely. Big body slam, sorry. Pushed into the ropes by Big Jim. Big Ooh. spine buster. Shades of double A. And a kick out. Yeah, time. gets that shoulder up. Rolls that shoulder over. Stops that pinfall from happening. Here we go, Big Jim thinking big power bomb maybe. Bang! A version of a Death Valley driver. But again, Big Jim now kicks out. A famous alike maneuver, but using the knee. And another shoulder up. Two and a half. Big Jim. Come on. Yeah, we can leave me Oh, big low blow by Big Jim. The referee still distracted by yep. kneecap at ringside. Yes, yeah, sit cover. Bomb. And Three. the pin for Big Jim gets the win. Big Jim has moved on to the next round of this heavyweight championship classic. This lethal combination. Kneecap and Murphy, Big Jim. Oh, he's stolen the bat and straight into the side. That was a Going straight after Big Jim's kneecaps now. He's going to town on the back as well. And again, driving that steel bat into the midsection of Big Jim and now choking Big Jim. What is this? See that the new collection of dangerous behaviour from these four men, Kneecap and Murphy, Chris Bronson, Hot Shot, and Commissioner Bainbridge. This collection of dangerous human beings. Although let this be a warning to anyone that allies himself with Bainbridge. Look, take Big Jim. One loss it seems and you're out. Yeah, I know what you mean there, Jazz. Uh, again, Big Jim actually won the match there, but uh, but the the behaviour, the attitude of Chris Bronson actually kind of showed something to Bainbridge, and perhaps showed more than what Bainbridge saw in Big Jim. Big Jim is kind of 
tossing and turning in pain right now. Rory's checking on him, but again, as a referee, there's not much Rory can do here, apart from help him out of the ring. Again, we just want to send our condolences to Big Jim, that the winner of this match moved on in the next round, and he gets an applause from the audience for his efforts. Again, he came into this match perhaps not well liked from his alliance with the Commissioner Bainbridge, Bainbridge and Kneecapper Murphy. But he's come out of this perhaps a fan favourite. You see, uh, see Big Jim here making his way to the back. Slowly but surely. 